We're now going to create our first horizontal geometry and we do this using the intersection of the existing road and the road boundary. Our first point is going to be at the intersection up here. So we just zoom in here and from the Edit Super Alignment toolbar go to the first column and select the first icon Append HIP. We then want to pick at the intersection of the existing road. When you select it, make sure that you get a diamond. A diamond indicates that a point has been selected and you can accept that. As we move our mouse, you'll note that we get changes along our IP string, alignment string. And our second IP, we want at the intersection of this straight here and this straight down here. To get this, we use an option known as snaps CADs and we go to the second uh, icon and come down to the second one again snaps to offset segments pick our first segment accept it and give an offset of 8 meters pick our second segment accept it and give an offset of 8 meters our third IP will be the same thing it will be the intersection of this straight down here and this straight along here. So once again we come up to our second icon, select snaps to offset segments, pick your first segment, accept it, offset 8 meters, pick your second segment, accept it, offset 8 meters. And our final IP is once again going to tie back into the existing road so we can just pick and accept on the intersection up here. Note that we have a change of a thousand and eight meters and if you have anything else there's a chance that you've got it wrong so you may want to revisit that. Once we put our final IP point in we can just press escape on the keyboard to get out of the creation of the super alignment. We now need to add in our horizontal curves at our two IP points here the first one's going to have a radius of 200 meters and to do this we go to the second icon in our toolbar and come down to change curve. We then pick on IP number 2 and type in a radius of 200 meters. You can see the curve is added. For the third IP we want to put in a curve with a radius of 100 but we also want to add in a leading and trailing spiral. So to do this we need to go into the HIP table so we go to the fourth icon and come down to HIP editor. You can see in our table we already shown all the curves and straights that we've created and you'll note that IP number two is a radius and IP number three still has no curve. We want to change the HIP type of IP number three to be curve spiral and then over underneath the radius we just want to type in a radius of 100 and a leading and trailing spiral of 80 meters. Once you've entered the data you must click on the set button in order for it to be saved. You can see that the spirals are now shown in blue, the curves are in green and the straights are still in red. We can now finish on this panel and if you zoom into the end you'll notice that your chainage should be 945.